Come on, buddy. Oh, that's a big one. Here you go. Well guys, it's another Saturday and another project. I'm planning on doing another video with my hand cart. I don't know if you guys remember, I built this thing back in early 2020 and did a video on it. It's been sitting under a tarp for about a year and a half now. So pulled it out and uh, there's a lot of water damage. So I'm gonna clean out the garage here a little bit, pull this thing in and see what we can do to repair it. And, you know, we'll just kind of go from there. All the plywood's delaminating. The window's busted out. The door here is really rotted. You can see how much bend is in it. It is so soft right there. Yeah, it looks like the plywood on this thing is absolute mush, but we're gonna try to get it all back in working order. And uh, to do so, we're gonna have to really take this thing apart. Oh, you can see how bad the delamination is. All right, guys, I got it all disassembled. Now I need to just go to the hardware store and get some more plywood. Oh, you can't take the car. I'm taking the kids to the doctor. Oh. Like right now. Okay. All right, we're going to the doctors. He's taking a picture. Yeah. Okay. Ah, ouch. Tell him something funny. Okay. I hear somebody... What are you doing? Do you want to do that again? No. no. You guys feeling better? Yes. Everybody out. I'm going to the hardware store. I'll let you Be very careful it. with it. Don't... Well, it's too cold to paint outside, so we brought this project into the garage. Well, this was a lot more work than I was expecting, but I got a lot more work done today than I was expecting. So we'll pick this up again tomorrow morning. All right, it's another beautiful day in the garage. Well, it's a beautifully cold winter day here, and I think it's time to load up the hand cart and go camping with Jacob. All right, hop in. All right, Jacob, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, buddy, we're here. There you go. Welcome to the CNO Canal Trail. 
It's a 185 mile trail that goes along the Potomac River and a series of canals and locks that were used for shipping goods from the capital all the way to Cumberland, Maryland. So you can see through the woods, that's the Potomac River. And over here to the right, this is where the canal used to be. This used to be full of water and long boats full of goods would be towed by horse and mule upstream. This is all National Park now, and this tow path that the horses used to walk is now an amazing biking and hiking trail. And we are gonna hike that trail and do some camping and check out all the historical stuff along the way. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. Check it out, this is one of the locks. The canal system isn't like a river, it's more like a staircase. And each time they'd go up a step, they'd need a lock. And this right here is lock number 31. So the canal on this side of the lock is at a lower elevation than at this side of the lock. And a boat would sail in to the lock, they would flood it, the boat would rise up, and then they'd open this door and it would sail out slightly higher. Hey Jake, you warm? Yeah. Good. It's about 39 degrees right now, so it's, it's a little nippy and it's good to be walking, get the blood flowing. Check it out, there's the Potomac River and there's a little creek flowing down the hill into the Potomac. Every time the canal needed to cross a creek, they needed to build an aqueduct so the boats could sail over those creeks. And that stone footing is what's left over the old aqueduct. Look at this crazy tree here. What? That's a cool tree. So check out this is the upper Potomac River. Come back here and camp here and fish. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Winter camping and hiking is the best. If you don't like bugs, crowds, and humidity, Get out and do this stuff in the winter time. It's nice. Check this out. We got this is stinging nettle. Okay, if you've ever rubbed into this, it's given you a bit of a rash, but you can pick the leaves by grabbing it from the top and plucking it. And then if you boil the leaves, it gets rid of all the little nettles and it actually tastes like boiled spinach. It's a good edible plant. You can see it's one of the only greens still out here in the woods in the middle of winter time. But make sure you know what you're doing before you eat anything. These right here, these are poison ivy berries. I've never met an edible white berry that you wanna eat. So if you see a white berry, leave it alone unless you really know what you're doing. Hey, there's a full white berry. Yeah, look at that. Here's another one of the locks. Hey, check it out. Little spot where a squirrel's been eating walnuts. Must mean there's a black walnut tree around here somewhere. It's another good food source in the wintertime. Oh look, I can see Harper's Ferry. Well, here we are at the crossroads of the Appalachian Trail and the CNO Canal Trail. You head over that bridge, you gotta get you to Harper's Ferry and down the Appalachian Trail, or you head north along the CNO Canal Trail this way. Went ahead and stashed the cart in one of these locks. Me and Jake are gonna go exploring a little bit. Yeah, look, there's even more up here. There's a fence along the Seine River in Paris where young couples will put padlocks as a symbol of their love. And uh, I'm guessing people are doing something similar here because there are padlocks everywhere. Hey, what's right there? The river's crystal clear. So this is where the Shenandoah River dumps into the Potomac. And that right there is Harper's Ferry. It's a very historic town, a lot of importance and history from the Civil War. There you go. This spot is almost smack dab in the middle of the Appalachian Trail, which runs from Georgia all the way up to Maine. One of the things Harper's Ferry is most famous for is John Brown's Revolt. 
John Brown was a militant abolitionist who believed he was going to free the slaves by force and violence. So he brought a bunch of guns and a few men here to Harper's Ferry and tried to take over the town and start a slave uprising. It didn't go well and he ended up holding up in this building right here and where the U.S. military went and ferreted him out and they ended up executing him. There was a popular song called John Brown's Body that was about hanging John Brown and that tune from that song was used for Battle Hymn of the Republic. A good chunk of Harper's Ferry is run by the National Park Service and so there's tons of little historic merchant shops. I think there's a blacksmithing shop. Let's see if this place is open. Okay, which one do you want? Okay. Here, you want me to open it up for you? But don't yeah. let it melt. I, I don't think it's gonna melt. I don't think we have to worry about that. That's a boy that loves his ice cream. Well, it's getting late and it's getting a little cold and we still have several miles to do before we get to our campground. So I think we better get back to the cart. The wind's picking up and the temperatures drop and I can feel it. If you're gonna take little kids camping in cold weather, invest in a good sleeping bag. How does that feel? Is that warm? All right, good. I think Jacob's falling asleep on me. Oh yeah, Jacob's out. The canal we're following was man-made, so in order to get water in it, they needed inlet locks. Locks or gates that connected the canal to the Potomac River so they could get water in and out. This was one of those inlet locks. They just opened the gates and water from the Potomac River would flood into the canal. I keep having to remind myself that all 185 miles of this canal were dug by hand and with men using their backs and chisels and hammers. Over there is the ruins of one of the lock keeper houses. I think we're pretty close to our campsite, which is a good thing because Sun just disappeared over the hill. Well, Jacob's still asleep, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the fire going. Little Zips fire starters here. But we're gonna lose our light pretty quick, so we're gonna get this cart transformed into a bunk bed. Well, there we go. That's our shelter for tonight. Sleeping space down here and sleeping space up here. This little bottom space can get kind of breezy at night. So I can go and raise this up just a little bit to block out the wind. Well, both of us have those negative 25 bags from Feathered Friends. So I don't think we're gonna be cold at all tonight. But I think it's time to wake Jacob up. Hey, Jacob, wake up, man. Here, just come on down here. There's your, there's your bags in there. You cozy in here, Jacob? You like this? Good. Okay, listen, I'll go make you some dinner, okay? When it's dinner time, I'll get you, okay? Okay. I asked Jacob what he wanted to eat, and he said MRE. Yeah.
Can I put you on this? This will get you higher up and, and keep your bottom warmer. Should you have an army spoon to eat this? There you go. I'm in light you. We got Lucky Charms marshmallows. Yeah. I think you could eat those if you wanted. You nice and warm in there? It's late and I'm tired, so I'm gonna zip up this bag and go to sleep. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning. I do not want to get out of my bag. Ugh. I got a bag of bread flour and I've put a little bit of yeast in here, a pinch of sugar, a pinch of salt, and a little bit of cinnamon. You see how I try to stretch it and it just breaks? When I've done it right, it'll be able to stretch like Play-Doh. we have been kneading it and adding a little water to it for the last 10 minutes. You can see it's a lot stretchier. The yeast has got to stay warm to rise, so I'm going to tuck it right there. While I'm waiting for that bread to rise, I'm going to get the fire started and, you know, straighten up a few other things. Somebody's awake. Good morning. Hey, little hi, guy. Can you have any? See you. All right, bread looks good. It's expanded about twice its size, and it's still nice and warm. Hey Jake, you want some of this? Yeah. Here, you want some honey butter? That's a little honey butter. There's a little bit of honey butter. No, oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. No, that is so good. Mmm. Is this cozy? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's go get to see Mama. It's just a beautiful day to be out with my son. I'm enjoying this. Jacob, did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed filming it. If you guys want to see more adventures from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. Now that we put out new adventures every Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.